Hello, 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 you guys. So, hold on, let me get my, while I'm getting it ready, let me talk to y'all. My interest. So, I got a share certificate. I'm not going to say how much it was, but I'm getting interest. I'm getting paid. The, the main part is I'm getting paid interest now off of my money that is just sitting in a um share certificate it's not necessarily an account it's like a product you let your money sit there and over time it grows interest and you will get all your interest if it matures if you take it out before then you would lose like a month's worth of interest because you know but i did that on um March the 7th and then in April what happened was I got paid like 80 something I think $84 in interest and um no I'm sorry I got $72 if you look back at my other videos I got $72 in interest and I was doing the math and I was like it's about 12 to $14 that I'm missing why is that? And I was about to call them, but then my account that I got all that money out of, I got like um, 30 something dollars of interest. I was like, how did I get that much interest in that account if I withdrew all that money out to put in this specific um, share certificate? I didn't take all of it out. I took more like, I don't know, 60% of it out for this share certificate. So, and I'm like, the math is just not math then. And I'm like, I'm getting too much interest on this account and not enough on this one. And then I'm looking at the date that I got the actual share certificate and it was on April the 7th. I'm sorry, not April the 7th, March the 7th. I got it on March the 7th and then on April the 1st, well, I didn't actually get it until like April the 2nd or something like that. But that's when the interest actually hits. And I was like, huh. Okay, whatever. Come around this month, I'm getting um, $13 and some change more. So I went from getting $72 to now I'm getting $90. So I was kind of off by like $18. And the reason being is because I got the share certificate seven days after the first of that month. So, I wasn't getting paid. They had to take a whole week of interest, which is what, 12 or $13. They took that off, and then I was getting paid for the rest of the days of the month when the month ended. And I was like, that's why I got paid so much from the account with the less well, much less money so it may sound confusing right now what i'm talking about but if you work at a bank you know compound interest all that bull crap but i'm gonna stop talking because <laughs> now we know why i only got 72 dollars last month and now we got hold on we're gonna count it 20 40 60 70 Five, eighty, five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, and ninety. So this month we got ninety dollars of interest, and we will be expecting around ninety dollars a month. Now, um, I didn't really count the interest in my other account, only because um, I want to keep that money separate, but. But this particular account, yes. And I don't know what I'm going to put this money towards. I'm going to be real honest. Like, I really don't know what I'm going to put this money towards. So, I'm, we're going to just add everything in here until I figure out what exactly do I want to do with this. And I'm thinking, well, maybe some type of emergency. But here's the thing. I did tell myself, once I pay my credit card completely off... Then we're going to start touching this. Okay. I, I want it completely paid off to where I'm not paying no credit card bill. No more. I'm just paying pretty much what I owe. 
And that's it. But hold on, y'all. We're going to count all of our interests. Because this, all of this is pretty much just interest for me. And this is kind of backwards. But oh well, we're going to work with it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 205, 210, 215, 220, 221, 222, 223, 224, 225, 226, 227, 228, 229, 230, 231, and 232. So, this year so far for four months, I got 200 and 20 i'm sorry 232 dollars in interest and i got all of this money because i let my money sit in what's called first i had it sitting in a money marketing account then after the money marketing account i realized oh i can get 4.49 percent interest with a um a shared certificate I guess we're just going to call it an account with a shared certificate account or people call it CD. And basically you put your money in it and you get um, interest on there, more interest than you would on a regular traditional savings account. And I'm getting 4.49% interest on a whole lot of money. So we're going to be expecting at least $90 a month at the very least. And remind y'all, once I get so much money on my cash steppings or whatever, we are going to put that money in the bank. So I think my next goal, since I got the 1800 in account that I told you, well, 1700 that I told y'all about, um, I'm, I'm going to need at least $1,300 to put in there so it can be an even 3000 That way... We are gaining even more interest on our money. So I'm, I'm think right now I'm gain, I'm earning like two hundred. I'm sorry, I'm earning three point three zero percent interest on my money marketing account, and then I'm also earning four point four nine percent interest on a share certificate. This all may sound confusing, and y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna um have my computer. And print out some information for you guys. Um, if you got a whole bunch of money just sitting in an account that you're not messing with. Think about getting a shared certificate. And you have to let your money sit in an account. And, in the account for so many months until it actually matures. And you will actually get a piece of paper that says, you know, you got this certificate and it matures and blah, blah, blah. And then once it actually matures, take it out. Do whatever you want with it. So, my goal, my interest, I want my interest to pay for all of my utility bills. Which, that probably won't happen to this time around next year. Because this time around next year, I want to get at least $200 a month in interest. So, I want to basically double what I'm getting. Basically, what the CD I have now, I want to double that. Plus, put like another five or $10,000 onto it. This time around next year. Y'all think I can do it? Because I think I can do it. With enough. Um, practice. Patience. I can do it. I can do it. I think I can adopt this new. Um, this new. Um, I'm not going to call it cheap. But I can adopt. What's the word I'm looking for y'all? I can adopt. This new trend. Well, okay. I'm not gonna call it a trend. I can adopt this new lifestyle. We're gonna call it that. I can adopt to this new lifestyle. So if y'all would like to um get on the train, then let me know. Please let me know. And I will help you guys. Um, you got to start small 
and work your way up. You know, all of the billionaires, trillionaires, millionaires, once upon a time, them or their ancestors was broke just like everybody else. And then they accumulated money. No one was born with money. The only people that was born with money is, is, is the people, them, them, them kings and queens over there in England. And, and I wish I would call somebody my king and queen and they not really, and they not related to me. Them the only people who was born with the money. If you if you're not them or no Rothschild, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, anyway. I'll talk to you guys later. Um and you know what? I think we're gonna make this a new segment. This new segment is gonna be called Um Interest. Y'all like that? Cause I do. Alright, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Bye, ciao.